Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torn, and welcome back to Heart Farm 4 as we are playing as Russia. So, I went ahead and designed our light tank so that we wouldn't have to do it here on camera since it doesn't really matter that much. I don't know how many of these will we'll even get built, uh, but this is what it looks like. It's really prioritizing speed. Production cost isn't too bad here. Armor's all right for a light tank. We'll just kind of show you what we got the two man turret. We're using the improved automatic cannon because we want higher soft attack rather than the, the hard attack. I don't think that'd be that useful against Japan here. We got those radios on there, the heavy machine guns for even more soft attack. We got the armor skirts. I also wanted to have some decent breakthrough on here for a light tank. And so that's the, the current design form. We could add more armor if we wanted to, but uh, I think the production cost of 15 here is pretty solid. And so that's the light tank that we actually need to go ahead and add into our production line. So much better than that design we've been using. I think it even has a little bit better speed. The other thing we need to do is we have not filled out this position here for the military high command. The two that we do have in here are both for the Air Force. And I don't think either one of them are all that good either. He's an expert. Okay, so he's not as bad as I thought. He's an expert too. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and appoint this commander, Nikita. He can be made into an officer corps role as infantry specialist. So he's not quite at level 6 here. Once he gets there, which will be soon, he's at 38%. Then we'll get the 15% defense and 10% attack. As of right now, though, we're just getting the 5% attack and 10% defense. Yeah, let's go ahead and put him into that role. So that we can hire him since we have the available, the available political power. So let's go ahead and get him hired now. And so he's our first commander here that's going to actually boost the, the land forces. Now I was trying to make an adjustment with our naval invasion force here. I wanted to take out these five and assign them to this invasion. Or maybe just uh, maybe two or three. It depends on you know how we have to divide this just to speed up the invasion prep so you probably wouldn't want to do the the five yeah because then it would be 35 days you'd have to wait here it doesn't really speed it up that much so what we'd probably want to do is do like three in this one however i was trying to do this off camera and it wasn't working it wouldn't let me throw them into another army it looks like it is working now okay so let's throw two over here and then these three over here and then we'll see how long that's gonna take for both of them so 28 of 49 days and you got 21 days here so basically that one will be done yeah exactly uh, almost exactly the same time here so that works out and then we'd want to send them at the same time we'll do it that way just to kind of shorten the planning time since I got all messed up I'm not sure what happened there I don't understand why they had to replan it like it was a new attack when obviously it was not a new attack so I don't know what was going on in that situation Kind of irritating though, because obviously we don't want to have to replan that. Let's have these guys go across the river here. And then I suppose this guy would go across the river. Let's go that way. Just make sure we get all of them pushing forward before we unpause this here. Looks like we've already given them orders. Alright, yeah, they're good to go. All right, so through much of the line here, it looks like we've given them some orders. So we're gonna let it play. Really trying to focus on taking the territory here as rapidly as we can. As you can see, these light tanks are just moving so quick. That's exactly what we want to see. Just to try and get China taken over. You no, know, we'll have them continue there, but you know what? Let's actually try and cut off this unit here. So we can't make that happen. So still waiting for troops to get over here. Uh, we do have these guys cut off that we need to wipe out. So let's go ahead and work on that. Seems that some of these guys already have orders here. Not all of them. And there's nobody covering this. So something happened here. I see. We need to fix this front. And... Didn't it complete there? There we go. So again, a little confusing because we have two similarly colored armies here with the red and the orange. Well, that's fine. All right, so this guy can cut off this unit here. 
and then I'll allow him to be freed up to go elsewhere. In fact, let's go this way. And he'll grab that territory. It'd be easier to go up around this guy, but yeah, it's fine. He's already winning that battle. Let's go make sure we're pushing forward all across the frontier. He'll go this way, and he will go this way. Alright, excellent. So who has control of this? Looks like the, the British do. Okay. So that would be another front we'd have to man if we went to war with them. Let's have this unit here move over to this front. So just trying to get these last little pockets dealt with. Let's take a look at the, the battles that have happened. So here, it's like we had our ships bombed. Didn't lose any though, did shoot down some planes in that battle. Sunk a convoy there, and uh, this is one that doesn't, didn't want to go away. So looking at six div divisions across here, probably not going to be able to get across without doing a naval invasion. So yeah, really need to get that naval invasion tech, unfortunately. And it sucks when you gotta wait for a certain technology. We are bombing what they have left here in this fleet, which is just a carrier and a battleship, both of which are not looking good. Yeah, we're doing quite a bit of damage to those here. Excellent. I did start building up this airbase as well. Need that to be a little bit larger. And clearly this is not going to work here. Uh, supply is a problem, but we did get uh, a port building, I believe. Let me just double check on that. Yeah, we got that constructing currently. Might want to build it up a little bit higher, actually. I think I only built it up the one level here. Just gonna make sure that we build it up. Oops, not that one. This one here. Just build it up a little bit higher. Throw that back up at the top. All right, excellent. All right, so let's just go after these key victory points. Go along the rails there as well, grabbing those all up. There's nobody to stop us. So let's just advance all along here. Need more troops on this side, clearly. And then this tank can go and take care of that for us. So over here, still kind of waiting for troops to get into the area with all those new movements. Those adjustments we made to the front lines last episode. Yeah, moving nice and fast up along here. It's excellent to see. Just grabbing those uh, railways and the supply hubs. And this guy can advance over here. Alright, so he's seeking to cut us off there. We're going to have to do an attack here, at least temporarily. This guy's going to be behind him soon, and then he can assist. Try and get that unit wiped out. And then let's just keep this guy on this front here, moving up along the coastline. Yeah, the tanks are moving very, very quickly. Despite not having any supply, because we have moved well beyond our supply hubs. So definitely some problems there. Let's make sure that these guys don't take off. Maybe give them some additional troops to get this task done here. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and push forward across here. Going along the rails with that light tank. And this guy will go over this way. Yeah, I need to get control of all those railways. In fact, we already had him going this way, so we'll have him go this way instead. And he's going to go towards... Can you get across there? You can. All right, excellent. So we'll go that way. And then he'll grab all that for us. Alright, so just need some additional troops over here before we'll launch an attack against them. For now, we'll just hold out on the defense. We did get the last anti-tank tech, so let's go and get the artillery one. Although, this is just a passive bonus here. How long does it take? 75 days? Once we use the MIO, that's going to improve it to 70 days. How long until we're going to get... Okay, it's going to be 5 days. I suppose we're going to get that just so we're done with this tree, so I don't have to worry about it. 70 days. We'll have that knocked out. Alright, so just looking where we can advance up along this front. We'll do the attack here and assist even though it's across a river. Just try and get that unit there cut off. And you can definitely see that we are facing some supply issues in many of these areas. 
Let's go ahead and have these guys move over here, them too. Oh, it looks like they're already going there. Excellent. And make sure these guys have continued orders. Yeah, he's just about across the river now. We're gonna have him go over there, grab their capital. Let's get these victory points taken over. And the hope that we don't have to conquer all their territory. We'll have to see how long they last. We're invading across multiple areas here. Now, we did get a unit cut off. Let's go get him destroyed now. We're actually going to send both of these tank units into that task. And we have all four tanks here. Let me see if I can get over there. It looks like we can. Now, they do have a port to escape here. So they might take to the seas. Which, of course, we control. So uh, what we do need to take a look, though... Well, yeah, the subs are here. They don't actually control it. Well, maybe they'll engage those. See where we have... We do have some support here. So I feel like we could probably take the fleet. Now, I don't think any of them are actually out there. We can send them over here while they're repairing. So they're saying they don't want to go. Yeah, not looking good. Due to those battles that we did, we, we got hit pretty heavy there with those battles. Uh, we could use, I don't want to waste it though. We could use that to try and get across here. I just don't know that we could beat seven divisions sitting on forts across the strait. So we might want to wait to use that for like the actual naval invasion once we get that tech. I think that'll probably be better to make sure that we're successful in that. Yeah, I think that's a, a way better way to do it. Did sink another light cruiser here. Having success sinking convoys and stuff as well. Hopefully those are troop convoys. And let me just take a look at these guys here. See when they're done. They're, they've got a while. they got a couple weeks here. Uh, now we're not going against anybody else's cipher. I suppose we can use the, the China one. Yeah, why not? We'll use that one. Not sure if there's anybody else in their faction we'd actually want to try getting. I suppose you could do Iceland. Why not? That'll take 148 days, so they don't have any of the upgrades yet. Now that reminds me, I actually wanted to ensure that Japan can't decrypt our cipher. I actually want to get the machine-assisted encryption. We generally don't get that because it takes 15 civilian factories, but we got plenty of civilian factories, guys, so it's not really that much of an issue. I think it's worth doing. So we can try doing an attack here because they're also short on supply. I just want to get this, this done if we can. And a bunch of troops sitting around here that don't need to. Let's just go and get that taken. And then I'm going to try and get over to that port before we attack them there. Might need to lock them down though because they're moving pretty quick. Yeah, you might need to have this unit attack here to lock them down. That might not be that effective though. We'll see. Maybe they'll retreat to over here or here, though. Probably not, though. It looks like they are going to retreat over to that port. Try to stop them from uh, being able to get out. All right, we're going to take that over and make sure these guys continue to have objectives given to them. Uh, these guys are trying to take off, so let's just make sure we keep them here. And this guy, same thing. It looks like he's trying to leave, so let's make sure he sticks around. We'll do it this way. There you go, beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and give everybody orders here. Let's actually try and go around this unit here. I think that's the better way to go about doing that. Alright, so a ton of units just kind of sitting around over here. <laughs> yeah, this is a little ridiculous the way we got this looking, so let's change this up. Go this way. One of these guys grab that one, and he can take care of that for us. Not entirely sure why so many units want to focus onto this area here. Let's get the rest of these guys coming over here. And still waiting for troops to get onto this front here. So they can be extended just a little bit here. Since we are having supply issues in the area. So about to have that finished up and uh, then we'll be able to wipe out the unit that's here. As soon as we take that over, uh, let's go and push forward into that location, which is undefended currently. And then somebody needs to clean this up over here, so we'll get that taken care of. He can just go and advance over to that location. 
And you know what? Let's only have that guy take that over, because this guy can take this over. And we'll take that out as well. Okay, so slowly getting that done there. And then let's go ahead and take any troops that are here. Bring them over to this front and just uh, one guy can clean that up for us. Alright, so he'll have that taken over. And we did get the ground support. Alright, awesome. So remember that got us some research bonus for the planes. Also, got you a nice little 10% ground support bonus there. Uh, finished up attack too. So this is the end of the air branch here. We still have a few focuses that we haven't gotten yet. Some nice bonuses here, but I don't think we're going to get that. There's too many other things that I'd prefer to have at the moment. And the next one we're going to do is the military political advisors. Now, you could instead get this one if you'd gotten the church candidates, which we have not. That results in the doctrines costing more, so don't really want to do that, though you do get some very nice bonuses in exchange. I think we're going to go with this one. You do lose a little bit of organization, but you get some other nice bonuses. Most importantly, the doctrines will be cheaper, which we're trying to get those land doctrines with the uh, army experience. Once we finish with, uh, there's one design left, the mountain troops that we need to do. Once we do that, I want to start getting the land doctrines. And this gives you some uh, army experience, as well as a reduction of land doctrine costs, and lets you get more special forces. So yeah, I kind of want to get, at the very least, this one here. So let's go ahead and get that now. And then we also got the 1944, uh, 1944 cruisers researched. So we need to get those light cruisers uh, changed up. We have the naval experience to do that. Still need to get the submarines, but I think we're going to move this slot over to planes now that we have the research bonus. So let's go ahead and get the advanced small airframe. I don't know if there's anything else that we want to get with it do still need to get the engines i suppose but let's let's get this first it's only gonna take let me see it's 90 days before the mio it's 86 after so let's go ahead and and get that researched we'll take a look at this battle here and then we'll design any battles that we had in the sea and then we'll design our cruisers not that the fleet matters as much now considering the fact that we've kind of already destroyed the majority of the Japanese fleet. But yeah, we researched these, so we'll do them. And I did forget to change the anti-tanks up, so let's go ahead and do that real quick as well while we're in here. So we get the better anti-tanks out there. Level threes. And then yeah, let's go ahead and design the light cruisers, because we're not doing heavy cruisers. And so yeah, we'll be outdating the attack cruisers here. All these are outdated as well. Let's go ahead and mark them as such. So for the guns, they actually have those better ones now. You see we've got the, the fours, which increase the the anti-air. You notice the light cruiser threes do not have an anti-air bonus. Yeah, this not only increases the light attack, but you get some anti-air in there too. So that's uh, pretty helpful. I'm gonna put the new anti-airs on there. And do we want to put sonar on these? Because we could put a depth charge on there. I'm going to wait to do that until we decide if we're going to put any depth charges on there. So get the dual, dual purpose on there and the cruiser armor. Going to definitely want another one of these guns on there. Really want the light attack to be pretty high. And so that's what we'll be focusing on. This gives you the, the 4.5 anti-air. So you want the anti-air too. When we look here, you're getting only 3 anti-air and 4.5 light attack. You're significantly increasing the production cost, I'm sure. It's 360 for that. If you keep adding these in here, it's 450. So yeah, you add a bunch of them, it's going to get pretty expensive. But they're just so much better than the secondary battery. Because yeah, you're getting a lot more light attack, the higher piercing, you're getting more anti-air. Probably affecting the speed by a bit more, yeah. You're also going to slow it down by a lot. I think that's fine, although they are getting kind of slow now that I'm looking at it. Maybe just do one more of these. And then the other one would be the secondary battery. Yeah, I might want to do that just because it does affect the speed so much. So we have two more slots left. Could try and increase detection here. That'd be helpful. That wouldn't affect the speed as much. I'm worried about them getting too slow for cruisers. Yeah, you throw these on here, it's, it's just too much. 
Now you could, of course, do an anti-air. Maybe we'll do that here. We'll put an anti-air right there. We do not want to do the rapid fire guns here. That wouldn't make any sense. Could just do another anti-air, but it's actually pretty high at the moment. Maybe we do, just take a look here, one of these here, and then you change up this slot since it's, you know, uh, more limited there when it comes to the secondary battery. So you could do that one right there. Could also just put an anti-air here as well to increase the speed above the, uh, make sure it's sitting at the 30 knots. But you know what, I think this is fine. It's uh, a little slower. But they do pretty good damage here. We still gotta finish this up as well. So let's go ahead and put the fire control in there since we did not give them a depth charge. There's just not enough enemy subs out there to warrant getting that. So I think this looks pretty good. Light attacks at 45, anti-airs at 43. These are a little slow for a light cruiser, but I think this will work. Let's go ahead and save that. And then build a few of these. Like three lines of them I think is what we had going before. And so we're going to want to put the subs below these. And probably put them above all the sub hunters as well. And then we'll have to get some dockyards assigned. And we have all these other ships building at the moment. And so that's what the issue is. These large ships we're trying to finish up. So they're taking up all our dockyards. And I want to keep the dockyards assigned to those as well. So we're just going to be pulling from destroyers and just not getting very many of these. And let's make sure we, we actually assign dockyards to these. Instead it just all went into <laughs> the ones down here. Alright, there we go. So that gets a full line here, half a line here, and uh, just one into that one. So basically we do need to get more, more dockyards built or just get those other ships constructed. Now we, we are building some dockyards. So we'll let them finish up with those and we'll see where they're at. Yeah, all kinds of stuff being uh, constructed at the moment. Uh, now that we finished that up, I think we have one more design that we have to do here in just a minute. That's the carriers. So I don't want to spend the naval experience just yet. Because we do still have the doctrines. Let's go and attack right there. And then this guy, he's already been given orders. All right, excellent. Make sure that these guys are given some orders too. There we go. We got the, the carriers. So we'll have to get then designed but this one here i think it's the only one we have going in the ships at the moment so still got to get the torpedoes we're so far behind that's the reason why i didn't put those on the cruisers could have gave them some torpedoes though and then uh we need to do the submarines so let's go get those now and i suppose we need to actually design those carriers don't we so let's go ahead and do... We don't have any dockyards for them, though. So let's go ahead and do a new design here, which, again, is just going to be focusing on hangar space. That's what we want. And get the radar in there, the new engines, the dual purpose, and a bit of armor as well. So we're going to name these the Catherines, based on Catherine the Great. It's going to cost 58 experience here. And this is their design. It's, again, just focused on the deck size. Having as many of those uh, planes as we can get onto it. All right, so let's go ahead and get... Man, I'm going to put two of these on here. But we're just going to be building nothing but capital ships at this point. Yeah, it's just going to be all capital ships. Because we just don't have the dockyards to do anything else. So we're just going to build one more of these, just in case we get any things that need to be uh, added to them. I don't know why I'm trying to put them over there. That's right, we need them all in the east. So i got the full dockyards into them, and this is how we got them designed. Four for the fighters and eight for the naval bombers. Also went ahead and set up all those light cruisers to deploy over here as well. And uh, not many dockyards currently in those at the moment. I think we'll probably need to build more, more dockyards than I currently have assigned here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Just add a few more into here. And that'll keep our factories busy as well. So I think that's all we had to design. 
Now we can focus on the war effort. And we'll try and get, because this guy's having issues, so we'll have to have this guy try and go around them. Advance over there as well. And did we finish over there? We did. So those tanks are now on the way over here. Excellent. And then let's make sure that this is getting taken care of here. Alright, so he's going after the port over there. And let's make sure that he's going after victory points as well. Alright, so just advance all up along here where they're not, not defending. And uh, we did get these troops here cut off, so let's get them destroyed. Make sure all these guys are moving over to this front as well. Alright, looking pretty solid. And I'm seeing some openings that we can take advantage of over here, so let's go ahead and do so. And some troops that don't have any orders at the moment. So let's go ahead and get these guys pushing forward over here to cut off the two units that are sitting in the mountains while he'll go after that victory point instead of what we did have going. This guy will advance. Well, we already give him an order. He's come down here. Where clearly we're having some difficulty. I'm seeing some troops retreating in the moment. Have this guy go over here. Well, we don't want to retreat over there. Alright, and this will cut off those troops there. Alright, excellent. We'll have him advance through here. So this guy's going to take over that location. Alright, so looking pretty good here. And uh, this guy already needs new orders. Just moving up along the coast. Let me see, did we finish up over here? We were not able to win, but there's less troops there than there was. Alright, so we'll do the attack there. Did we ever get the, the port constructed? Not yet. Still working on it. And uh, still trying to destroy the Japanese fleet. Looks like our subs are attacking their convoys. Sunk a couple, but we've already lost a submarine here. Just need to get more uh, planes in the area. I am building up the airbase here, but you know that all takes time, guys. And we haven't got it constructed just yet. It's moving so rapidly with the land forces. It makes you feel like you should be like further along than you are. Yeah, the, the land forces are moving very rapidly. So I'll go through here. Going after Wuhan now. Location that is very well known after the pandemic. Alright, so this guy's going to get those troops cut off. Excellent. The goal here is to get all of these troops over here cut off from supply. He's going to advance over here as well. And let's see... I guess we'll go over to this location. These are all core territory victory points. Helping to capitulate the Chinese. And we're just going to keep on moving down the coast here with that tank. This guy will go over here as soon as he gets there. And let's just send a few of these units in here to get this taken care of for us. So I don't know if we've gotten any air bases. We have. Okay, so we can start moving the planes down into this area. Again, we're moving well beyond our air force at the moment. So, pretty large location here, actually. And I'd like to move some naval bombers. Maybe move some of the ones out of here. We have so many out there. And um, this is all, the planes here are all to support us there, because that's actually part of this, this air zone. I don't know that we have any in the stockpile, nor any over here that are, like, training up. Looks like we've done a bunch of bombing over here. Yeah, we don't have any over here. I don't know if we need them all in this area. They're probably not even, uh, doing anything, so let's, let's move them out. Move them over this, uh, location where they'd have more success. So we'd want to move this guy into this area. We don't also want one here to bomb there. And then we need one bombing here. Let me just move one of these out of there. And so he's gonna go, let's see where's the best location to bomb from, maybe here. So bomb there, I'm not entirely sure how these guys got over here. Not sure how that happened. Uh, let's go ahead and move them over to here. And I think we've got planes coming over here, so what we should do is have them 
Go ahead and move to the next region since they'll be in the, the closest airbase to that location. No airbases up along here, so you really can't push the air force forward there, unfortunately. All right, so we're gonna move these guys out as well. Move them over to here to help us bomb it in that area. And might wanna take one of these that we have here and move him over to here and he can bomb, you know, maybe reach to these locations. Okay, so looking pretty good. Still building up that air base currently. I don't know how many planes we already have here, so we're gonna have to wait before we move any more into the area. Let all the planes move around with the orders we've already given them. And still waiting for all these troops to get to their locations. And you guys don't need to leave here. Stick around. Stick around, man. All right, let's go and take a look at these battles here. So that's where we lost those three submarines trying to seek those convoys, unfortunately. Uh, let's see about these battles here. These were more successful convoy battles. Didn't lose lose anybody. I am curious, are these uh, troop convoys? They are. So troop convoys going across the South China Sea here are being sunk. So that's excellent. I did completely forget about this front. My bad, guys. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about this. Now, we are lacking supply here. We built the port right there, but still supply is an issue. I can try attacking here, but uh, I think we need another port constructed, frankly. Kind of sucks we got to do it this way, but uh, having some difficulty in the region. And try and advance. Well, you know what? It's probably better to instead. Is this a mountain province? It is. Maybe that's why we're having such difficulty. You know what? Let me pull back here and see if we can't win here instead. We could, so then we could take two units and bring them over here to make sure, or three units, whatever. Let's do two. And make sure that we have that province covered. And I keep trying to go after the support here with no success. We could try again, see if we can't get control of that. And we just take a look at these guys, see where they're at. Okay, so pretty close here, just a few days, three more days, and then we'll be able to launch that invasion, so about the 25th of July. All right, so let's go ahead and have our troops here advancing. I'm going to take that location. Push forward here as well. And right here, there's nobody there to stop us. Got a unit cut off here, so let's go ahead and get him wiped out. And some areas you're just going to have to attack. Going to have to fight to some degree. Generally been trying to avoid fighting. Where we can. Uh, let's go see if we can't get down here by locking that unit down just temporarily. See if we can't cut off those troops. They do have a port where they'll get supply, but I hope they don't evacuate. And shoot, if they evacuate by sea, it's not exactly bad for us. Do we want to put our ships out in the sea now that we have some naval bomber support? We actually still have some space there. So let me start moving more of these into this area here. So we get more assistance. Yeah, I don't know if we want to put any additional uh, zones on these guys. They're probably still repairing, yeah. They're still repairing. They took uh, such heavy losses in those battles. All right, so Let's take this location here. These guys are cut off, so let's go and advance there. And then we will attempt to get a win right here. Cut off all these troops here. These tanks should be pushing forward as well. Just sitting around all lazy like. Let's get them to work. Seems to me these fronts are kind of messed up. Yeah, we might want to change this up. Yeah, let's, let's change this, guys. We need to make a couple changes here, actually. So, we have both of the tank armies. Yeah, this is probably not the best way to do this. I know this is going to result in some mayhem for a little while. I think that's fine. It needs to be adjusted. Maybe even take the white army bring them down just a little bit. Yeah, it's going to result in some problems. Let's maybe make sure that these guys can't get out here. 
while we attack. Let me see if I can't just win here. I don't know if that's going to work. What we might want to go ahead and do is have this guy go this way so they can't reconnect that easily. We'll try and make that happen. But yeah, a lot of these, these troops are now going to take off. Both in the north and in the south. But yeah, I think it's necessary for us to make that adjustment. It's just better for the future. Alright, so we're going after Wuhan. So we can't get control of that. And also just some openings across here that we could be advancing into. Um, I think that guy's already going this way. Have a unit going that way already. Let's go into that province. And there's openings over here too. Let's go and take this over. Troops cut off over here though. Let's just take all the tanks off of this. Not necessary to have all of them assigned. And you know what? Most of the units here can come over here. Damn it, I thought I had them deselected. Whatever. So they'll get that finished up for us. Let's go advance over here. But yeah, these, these tanks are all going to be taken off now. So it's going to cause us some problems for a little while. But again, uh, it's better for the future. So we can go ahead and start wiping out these units here. Or units. I suppose there's just one of them. Send another one of these guys to take care of that for us. And then this tank should be advancing towards that victory point. Alright, so almost have that taken control of. Let's go ahead and do another attack over here. I'm trying to send everything we got into the port and hope that they evacuate over to this location. Yeah, that's the goal. Get them over there and then they won't be able to escape. Let's see what we did in the seas. We sunk one of their carriers. Alright, excellent. So getting that Japanese carrier fleet destroyed. Definitely uh, have some difficulty here in this location. But we got a lot of troops over here now, so should be able to get it done. Have them uh, advance down there. He's already been given orders. So once he finishes here, we'll have him go that way. Somebody needs to wipe out this unit here. Let's get that taken care of. And let's go ahead and advance all across here. I could have just changed up the tanks, like the green army tanks are up here, put them into the purple army and, and vice versa, but yeah, it's fine doing this, but I don't want to make all those adjustments. So we should have this unit cut off here soon once he takes that province and then he takes that one. Alright, so these guys here are also cut off. Let's go ahead and do an attack, get them destroyed. Maybe assist here with this unit. Very good on manpower after we changed up the conscription laws. It's no longer an issue. Alright, so these guys are now cut off on the port so we can get them wiped out. Gonna be some slow fighting here. It's a lot of units. But they're also doing their own attack, weakening themselves. So then we'll have them attack and we'll get those destroyed. That's a lot. I saw that there was at least 14 there plus the 3, so 17 divisions. Might have been more at some point. Yeah, we uh, got a good, really good win there. Yeah, that's excellent results. And are they all heading over to this pocket here? Yeah, they might have been heading over to this pocket, which is actually just about done. I really didn't need to head over here. Let's go ahead and have that guy push forward. So another pocket been created here. Let's go ahead and just get everybody attacking. Finish this up. Looks pretty good. Tank still grabbing that one. That'll cut off this unit here, and then we'll do. As soon as he gets done, there we go. Then we'll get these guys attacking. I'll we'll have to tank across the river to assist. Let me see if there's anything down here we can do. We can actually start moving towards this victory point. Some other open provinces. So, a lot of Japanese divisions in the area that I'm seeing. Once, once they capitulate, this is really going to hurt Japan. Which remember, we can't even do the invasion of Japan until after... And we could have done the invasion over here a long time ago. I need to, to get that launched. That was the 25th, I think, that we were ready. So that's my bad. Let's see what we've done in the sea real quick. So destroyer, light cruiser, 
Those are sunk, shot down some planes, lost some planes of our own. Also sinking, sinking all those troop convoys. So that's really gonna hit them hard as well, losing a lot of manpower and equipment in the seas, losing divisions maybe as well. Just a sheer number of uh, convoys are losing here. That would indicate that these might be full divisions that we're, we're destroying. Sunk four submarines there. They don't have a ton of submarines at this point, so that's gonna hit them hard. Got one more over here. I assume this one is over, yep, over here. I don't know if they have much of a fleet still over here at this point. Let me, let me just take a look. Yeah, those are troop convoys too. Yeah, we haven't seen their fleet in the area, so I would not be surprised if they've taken off. I can try this attack again, guys. I, I just don't think we'll win. I mean, we're close there. But yeah, I don't think that's going to be a victory. Close. I mean, it's improving. Better than it was. Alright, so still no movement here. Jeez. We did take the uh, the port here. Alright, so that'll increase our supply, at least. I wonder if we can get across the river here. Maybe. If we can win in these areas, then we can get them cut off. Uh, let me attempt to, to do this invasion now. This has been ready for a little while. So let's go ahead and do that to see if we can't be successful in this uh, second attempt. Alright, so they actually do have divisions all up along here. Alright, so that's going to make it more difficult. So let's go ahead and cut them off. So yeah, they're defending the front now. Looks like the Japanese are really devoting themselves towards China, trying to stop us from taking any more territory. And let me see if I can't just get across here. I think they're attached to a losing battle at the moment. So might want to like redo it. Oops. Yeah, let's just go ahead and stop these and then redo it with... Well, that guy took off. Let me see if he can win. He can. All right, excellent. So getting these little pockets dealt with here and pushing forward into this undefended territory. And we'll go ahead and get that province in the mountain state. All right, so actually we'll go... Yeah, I suppose we'll go that way. Have the infantry take care of this for us. Let's get these troops wiped out here. Send the tanks, the, the heavy tanks, against their own tank units. So that was a, a good win there. Got three divisions cut off. And this is another good win here. We sunk a 1936 carrier, which is one of their more modern carriers. So it seems our fleet is back out there, ready to do some damage. All right, so do we want to extend them now that they are out here at least over into these two regions yeah we'll, we'll bring them over here hopefully that's not something i regret doing we'll see how well that ends up going and looks like uh our admiral here has a trait so he's got the superior tactician so let's go and get him i guess we're going the lone wolf one and the smoke screen specialist Excellent. And still sinking those convoys as well. And there's nobody here to stop us. They must have pulled all the divisions defending the East Indies. Pulled them across the South China Sea. That's who we're sinking right now. And brought them to China. That's what happened, guys. And that's the reason why they have so many trips in the sea. Alright, so now you take these three and win there. We've already won here. And so if you get, let's see, one of these guys going over here, one of these going over here, and got those guys cut off. So we're finally starting to see some success in the, in the uh, East Indies now, after kind of being stymied for a while there, which just kind of delayed everything because that's where our naval invasions were. So that's good. Glad to see that we're uh, getting things done over there. So this is all across rivers. I'm not really interested in attacking across rivers and full strength troops if we can avoid it. We did get the machine assisted encryption. Let's go to get the next one again. Just try and make it longer. It'll take a longer time for them to break our encryptions. Hopefully it won't be able to do it at all, in fact. The guy's losing, so we're just going to end that. Not sure why he's even leaving. That doesn't make any sense. But we'll let him do what he wants to do. 
Uh, we'll try and advance over here. Looks like that would not be successful. What if we threw a tank into it? Maybe. Might be. So I'd like to cut that guy off, this guy off, but we'd have to, to win across the river, and I don't know if we can do that. Maybe we sent like all these guys across the river. That might be a win now. Alright, so we'll do that. Not really uh, openings anywhere on the front now. So you want to avoid attacking those mountain provinces, but you got to attack somewhere. So let's go ahead and try and break through here. But you can't just sit here and look at them. So we'll do the attack there. Cause yeah, I got to start pushing forward. And unfortunately, not able to get this win here. And these guys are trying to take off. I don't want to let them. So let's just attack with one unit, maybe two to lock them down. I don't actually want to win there, but we'll see how that goes. And maybe you can win here? Yeah, that's a maybe. It's like our own tank was forced to retreat, but we can go here now and uh, cut off these units. Still trying to finish up with this pocket here where we've had some difficulty, apparently. Let's go and do that attack. Alright, so... I think we won there, but maybe... Yeah, I think we did win here as well. So let's go and push forward here now, and we'll attack there again while they're looking weak. Though it doesn't look like that's going to be enough to win. Why don't we throw this medium tank in to assist that battle? So sunk three convoys over here. Six there. Again, lots of troops being sunk. We got our own stuff out in the sea. This is what I was talking about, y'all. <laughs> uh, we did win here, though. But yeah, they didn't go on the rails here because there was no route so they go in the sea so you know you don't control them yeah it's kind of a an expected situation but still not uh not a good one uh, let's change these guys over to the imperial guard them they'll need up uh, some training so we'll just put them over here i suppose these are the ones you'd want to do the the naval invasion how long until we get that naval invasion tech 31 days we'll have it done then we'll start being able to do naval invasions. We did sink six submarines here, probably trying to engage our invasion force. And clearly failing. But yeah, we can finally go after the, the Dutch East Indies here. Or excuse me, the Japanese East Indies. See how I want to do this. So let's have these four advance over this way. These four advance this way. And these two will go up through here. Like so. Alright, so these guys are now cut off. Let's go ahead and get them wiped out. Get that finished up. And then we'll start advancing up along this front here where they're nice and weak. While this guy takes care of this for us. Alright, so should have that taken care of soon. Then they'll come over to this front here and keep pushing forward. All right, so looking pretty good there now. And yes, lots of uh, troop convoys sunk in the seas. They're trying every which way to, to get through here, but we put submarines everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled any troops out of the Philippines as well. Which, you know, they took from the United States. I'm wondering if I shouldn't send these divisions over here now because supply is not as big of an issue. And frankly, we're going to need more troops. We're just not able to to get it done here. So you know what? Let's go ahead and send these guys over here to help us out, particularly up along the coastline here. Just get a few extra units in the area, which uh, I don't know if the white army has a planning bonus. Sure looks like they don't. So we're going to give them one. Same thing with the green army here. Make sure everybody's got planning bonuses. And I'm not sure who's that one is. So we'll just do this over again. And then these guys all need one too. Alright, fantastic. So that's finally been finished up there. It looks like we got stopped right here where I was trying to cut them off. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, not really seeing anywhere that's not defended at this point. Let me see if he can't help out here yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna be successful 
largely due to the river. Okay, so we'll just go and stop. And so we don't need to lock that unit down any longer, so we'll unstop that as well. Okay, so let me see if I can't win here and here. Bring this guy down to take that undefended province. Need to send some more units in here to lock those troops down. Don't actually want to win in the mountains here, I just want to cut them off. So let's go that way with the light tank. And uh, clearly these guys can't get it done. Send another unit into it. I'm going to attack right here as well, though he is about to leave. Let's just go this way. Bring in this heavy tank. Let's try and go after these mountain provinces while they're undefended. I don't really want to have to fight these guys all the way across here. Alright, now let's do the attack again in the hope that we can stop these guys from taking this province from us. We'll take this over next, maybe if we get there first. Matter of hours, so we'll see how effective that is. Uh, let's go and attack down here and try and get these troops wiped out. Send them some additional units because clearly they're not going to get it done on their lonesome. Well, this guy is going to advance towards that port. Actually, have him go to the port while he goes this way. Alright, also there's an opening right here for uh, quick enough to take advantage of it. Make sure we send two units over there, so they can't stop us. Less units here, maybe you can win. I don't know. It's difficult just because getting across the river is so challenging. But well, we're slowly getting more and more units over here. So that'll give us more options. I'm going to advance in these undefended locations. Keep on taking those provinces over there as well. All right, and then he can just go up along the coast. And yeah, it's going to take all that over. And uh, we need to take the port right here. So let's not attack there. Let's go after the port first. Almost have these guys here wiped out. Excellent. Moving nice and uh, rapid. Let's go and take a look at these other fronts. Gave them some orders, but not enough, clearly. Let's go and advance over here and uh, up along here. We need to get that taken over. I'm just trying to avoid fighting them over here where we can. And then uh, let's just see how we want to do this. We're going to avoid the mountain. So let's go this way. Let me take one unit make sure he sticks around here. So I can't just easily cut us off without a fight. Sunk ten more of those troop convoys there. And yeah, just more all across here having such a success. That's excellent. That's a lot of troops that we're killing in the sea. I'll be uh, surprised if we haven't significantly increased the casualties against Japan in today's episode. It seems like we killed a lot of them. Uh, sunk a destroyer there. All right. So still have not gotten across the river here. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Yeah, just supply is clearly an issue for us all across the front there. You know, that's not necessary. Let's just send one unit over here and get that taken care of. And then these guys are all tempting to leave. We don't want, we don't want that. You guys stay here. Um, so we're going towards Hong Kong now. Is that in their control? No, that's still under Britain's control. All right, so go over to this area here. Get those guys cut off in the mountains there. And we'll have this guy see if he can't get across. I don't think he will be able to because I think these units here will be there in time to stop us. But we'll see if we can't make it happen. Going to take this location. We were able to get there, but it looks like uh, they're going to force us to retreat immediately, unfortunately. All right, so what we need to do is, because I don't really care if they advance that way, let's send all the units that are assigned here over to here. Because the point is to attack that way. Gato. And then let's have this guy go towards that victory point while he takes these mountain provinces for us. Alright, lovely. Alright, so making some progress down south. Let's go and dip back over to the East Indies and uh, get these guys wiped out. Let's bring uh, this guy over, or all these guys over to this location.
So we're going to have... We'll have this guy go here. While he goes up along this way. And moving towards their capital. Alright, so let's uh, see how we want to do this. I'll attack one unit here just to lock those guys down. Then take a large number of these troops here. Have them go over that way. We'll also send that one over there. All these guys go over here. We gotta lock them down so we don't actually want to win here. Just want to lock them down temporarily. And they want to provide us, but at least we don't need that. Or we, we probably do need it. That's why they're offering it. But yeah, I don't think we actually need it. It's fine. All right, so thinking those troop convoys still. Just so many troops in the sea. Good God, that's got to be costing them, you'd think. They have a lot of troops here that we have that we can destroy. And some more additional divisions here that we can get wiped out. Let's go and work on that. Keep on pushing forward across this frontier. Ooh, this guy lost here. Okay, I didn't realize that, so... Let's have... This tank take care of this for us. I'm gonna see if I can't win now. No, we can't. We're gonna have to send some additional units over there. Not sure where this guy's going, but let's keep him here. There's too much movement set along the front. Still have not gotten across the river there. Wow. We're just having such difficulty. In fact, it almost feels like we're losing territory along this front here. Could easily cut them off. We could just get a win somewhere, but we can't can't win anywhere. Yeah. So they put a lot more troops over into that area and so now we're having problems and it's, it's largely due to our supply issues. So what I want to do is really just defeat China by taking over all this territory here. I'll have to see how close we are to defeating them. So get all these troops moving into these provinces, get that taken care of. And it is now the 1st of September. And we did get a unit cut off, so we actually need to assist. And get him reconnected. He doesn't even care. He's just going. <laughs> he doesn't care. But yeah, we want to get him reconnected there. And now supply is becoming a little bit of an issue for us. Across the front. Yeah, it's looking terrible in this area. There's just no supply hubs. Got this one here, but it's not connected to the rails. It would be if you can take, yeah, you can take these locations here. Yeah, it's just kind of a ugly situation across the board. So I might have to look into that because we're not going to make any progress like this. Does it really matter? I don't know. We'll have to see how close they are to capitulating. Uh, also, I'm seeing that. So he could get himself an officer corps role, but uh, he doesn't have any available. Okay. So let me just take a look if this guy has improved yet. This is Nikita, the White Army. He's at 64%, so yeah, he hasn't uh, quite improved. We could get rid of one of these air guys if we get another person who's available. In fact, we actually have a commander trait here for this general. Uh, we can get into the, the infantry expert, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And that means he can also get the infantry specialist. Since he's now level 4, obviously we already have one of those. Okay, so just improving our our officer corps, our generals. And uh, sinking tons and tons of convoys. So we're going to be ending the episode here, guys. I want to look at all these battles, and then we'll take a look at the casualties. So I had some more uh, convoy raiding up here in the north. Looks like a lot of success. Right, excellent. Is that the last one? Yes. So now it's eight divisions, including a tank. Okay, so I don't know if we'll be able to get across there, but yeah, tons of Japanese troops here in the Baltic. I don't think they're doing invasions or anything. I'm not seeing anything over here. Yeah, I don't see how they could contend against our fleet anyways. We definitely outnumber them in the region. Okay. So that's the situation. Need to move our planes as well. Again, air bases is a problem. Might need to construct some of those. 
I'd like to start bombing Japan, so we could start doing that now that we have control of all the, the uh, coastline here. And we also have the air base built up here, so that gives us a pretty close location. We'll soon have this tech here, just 15 days, and then we'll be able to start planning additional invasions. In fact, we could already start planning invasions, so I'll get that started. Uh, we did lose here, surprisingly. Okay, so I had a bit of uh, difficulty attacking into the jungles here. And we should already have that being taken care of, so we did wipe out that unit. Excellent. So that's the, the current situation there. And uh, over here, you need to get this area taken over. And so somebody needs to attack to lock those units down again. Make sure that they don't leave there. While these guys get behind them and he advances up along here. While we don't have any uh, resistance to, to stop us. Just go all the way down there with one unit. Alright, so yeah, we'll try and get that location taken. The port. Cut off any troops that are here so we can get those wiped out. But overall, we're seeing victories across everywhere, just some uh, supply trouble in China. Now, as far as how long before the Chinese government capitulates, we're at 62%. At the moment, they've taken 654,000 casualties. We've done almost all of that, 609,000 compared to... Well, they're not even on here. We can't even see how many casualties they've caused us. Well, that's interesting. Japan has caused us 123,000 casualties, so that has stepped up a lot since last episode. But we have killed 1.8 million. Wow. That's a lot of dead troops for the Japanese. Yeah, that is significant. We have 96% of the total war participation. So we've killed quite a few. Their losses are now at 3.21 million. And they only have probably less than 3 million fielded manpower at this point. Okay, so Japan is... Gotta be really now. They're definitely having difficulty. Uh, they keep losing troops in China and the East Indies. I don't know how many they'll have left to defend their homeland once we are able to start launching invasions, uh, which might be next episode. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to, to plan some invasions coming from this port here and this port right here. We'll hit there and what this one probably attack this port here. I think that's the best way to do it. So do two separate invasions. So I do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.